All right, guys, so we have here the Motorola Droid Turbo, and right here we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. What we're gonna do is a test and comparison and to see which phone gets from zero to 100% charge faster. Uh, the cool thing on these two phones is that they both offer the rapid charging technology. I have the charger of uh, both of these phones right, uh, here. And uh, this is the charger for the uh, Moto A Droid Turbo. And as you guys can see, there is a turbo power supply technology. And this is uh, the cord. The core is not as long as the core that we have on the uh, Note 4. And also, if we look at this charger right here, fast charging. So I'm really curious to see which phone will uh, charge faster and get to 100%. Uh, let's uh, recap here the battery specs. So on the uh, Droid Turbo, we have a 3,900 milliamp battery, internal battery, not removable. On the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 4, the battery is uh, removable, and the size of the battery, if I remember correctly, I believe is uh, 3,220 milliamp. So, uh, even though the battery on the uh, Droid Turbo is uh, bigger, which it might affect the charging time, and the Turbo might take longer, uh, it shouldn't be too much of a difference and I'm actually expecting the turbo to be faster Because you know, that's the one thing that they're advertising a lot with this phone that you can charge this phone really really quick with this uh, technology But without further ado guys, uh, let's go ahead and start the test. Uh, I used uh, these phones For the last two days and I was actually able to get 63 hours on both uh, battery life for the last two days so feel free to watch my comparison uh, video of the uh, battery on these two phones. And uh, now that the battery is set down to zero, uh, let's go ahead and start the test. Let's go ahead and connect uh, both phones. All right, I have connected both uh, chargers to the uh, electricity, to the wall. And uh, let's go ahead and start here. Let's go ahead and connect here the uh, Note uh, 4 first. And you guys will see that both are down to 0%. As you guys can see, it's showing their fast charging. And both phones, uh, the Droid Turbo is showing 1%, of, but it was, they both died during my uh, two days uh, test. So let's go ahead and uh, follow up in a few minutes and uh, we'll see which phone gets to 100% faster. All right guys, I were 41 minutes and a half into this uh, charging test and let's go ahead and take a look here. So we have 45% on the uh, Droid Turbo versus 63% uh, on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Uh, as you guys can see, we're almost 20% ahead. So we'll come back in a few moments. All right, guys, uh, 57 minutes into this test. We have 81% on the Note 4 and 61% on the Droid Turbo. All right, guys, another update here. Now it's at uh, one hour and 25 minutes. Let's uh, take a look. So we have 92% on the uh, Note 4. 88% on the Droid Turbo. All right, guys, I have some results here, at least for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. As you guys can see, the timer, it's at one hour and 44 minutes. About one hour and 40 minutes, the Note 4 reached 100%, as you guys can see right there. From zero to 100% in about an hour and 40 minutes. The uh, Droid Turbo, uh, it's still down to 94%. So let's go ahead and wait a couple of more minutes and get back to you guys with the final results. All right, guys, I have the final results right now. The uh, Droid Tuber reached 100% about a minute ago. So we're looking at two hours for the Droid Turbo to completely 
be fully charged and reach 100% from 0 to 100% versus 1 hour and 40 minutes on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. So guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, go ahead and like it if you if you did. Uh, subscribe for more videos. Again, this was a charging test comparison between these uh, two phones that offers a fast charging technology, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and the new Motorola Joy Turbo. See you later, guys.